Welcome to the second video in series of learning quantum computing. In the previous video, I covered basic differences between classical and quantum computing. In this video, I will show you how to create an IBM account in order to access the IBM quantum computer. But before we start, I will briefly explain how does IBM quantum computer operates. Like a classical computer, the heart of a quantum computer is also a chip, but it is made from superconducting patterns on a silicon substrate. Superconductors are materials that conduct electricity with no resistance. One such material is aluminum, but at a temperature almost 2 Kelvin or negative 459 Fahrenheit. When electrons pass through a normal metal in a crystal, they produce lattice vibrations and noise, which is why we get joule heating. These vibrations are compressed in the crystal, and if they radiate, the quantum information is carried away and we won't get any results. That is why the solution is to cool down the metal to a very low temperature so it becomes a superconductor and cancels noises. IBM quantum computers use a physical type of qubit called a superconducting transmon qubit. A transmon is a type of superconducting charge qubit that was developed by physicists at Yale and Sherbrooke universities to have a reduced sensitivity to charge noise. Qubits in such systems are formed by isolating two energy levels. The difference in energy for such a system is delta E equal H nu, with H being Planck's constant and nu characteristic frequency, which is around 5 GHz. Therefore, the IBM quantum chip is kept at extremely cold temperature, around 15 mK, to minimize the ambient noise and achieve the heat energy much, much less than delta E. Now let's jump in and learn how to access the IBM quantum computer. In your browser, open IBM.com. Then, scroll down to find quantum computing. From here, you can either choose Get Started or Launch IBM Quantum. To get access to IBM quantum computer, you need to have an IBM ID. If you don't have an IBM ID, click on the Create IBM ID account. Enter your email address, your name, and other information. Then, get the verification code and copy and paste it from your email and click Next. Read the information about the IBM account privacy setting and if you agree, click Proceed. At this point, your IBM account is being created. To access IBM Quantum Computer, you must go through End User Agreement and if you agree, click Accept and Continue. In the final step, provide some information about yourself and click Continue. I personally prefer to receive product updates, newsletters, and tips about using IBM tools. IBM does a good job to keep you updated with its latest technology and information. And there you go, you have accessed IBM Quantum Computer Dashboard. In this dashboard, you can find Quantum Composer which is a graphical quantum programming tool that lets you drag and drop operations to build quantum circuits and simulate them or run them on the IBM quantum computer. The word composer here is inspired from Musical Notes Composer. Next to it is Quantum Lab. In Quantum Lab you can write scripts that combine Qiskit code, equations, visualizations and narrative texts in a Jupyter Notebook environment. And again, you can run quantum codes on real quantum hardware or simulators and store, access, and manage your files from anywhere. Then you have information about your API token. Don't worry, we'll cover all these in more details in future videos. At the bottom of your dashboard, you have information on how many quantum computer systems you have access and information on your recent jobs and reservations. In the next video, we will start creating our first quantum circuits. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. And if you want to receive notification, make sure to hit the bell button. Until then, stay tuned and have a good day.